Okay, so what I wanted to do here was have a look at designing an eco village in Taiwan and get a basic understanding of the forces involved with typhoon, cyclone, hurricane type winds. So you can think of this as a back of an envelope calculation in a in a Vijaya. Uh, I used a bit of Google Foo and found some, some good resources online. I've got a bunch of tabs open here to show you. Uh, you can basically punch in some numbers, get some figures out for some forces involved. I'm not a qualified structural engineer or anything close to that, um, so this information does not constitute advice in any way, but if you're into a bit of Sunday engineering, then uh, it might be interesting. Um, so, that being said, let's have a look at a quick section here to visualise where the wind is going. Uh, if the wind was coming from the right, it's going to fly in towards the window doors, that elevation. It's not going to have anywhere to go, it can't go down through the ground, it can't go left and right because there's more wind coming either side of it. So it's going to go up and, and hit the roof overhang, the eaves, what, whatever type of roof you've got overhanging there. So this is, this looks like an awful design to me to have in, a, in, a, in an area that's prone to typhoons like Taiwan. Uh, so that's a basic idea of where the wind would go. I'm not going into low pressure or high pressure inside, outside the building on top of the roof at the moment. Um, let's have a look at the highest wind speed ever recorded on Earth. So I did a quick search for a wind calculator. Got the highest speed ever recorded on Earth as it was at Mount Washington. Now I think it's uh, an island in... Yeah, this is the second highest, so 231 miles an hour was Mount Washington, the observatory at Mount Washington. The highest speed is 200 and, what, 50, 253 miles an hour now, and that was Barrow Island, Australia, 1996. Um, tornadoes go up to about 300 plus minus 20, 300 plus minus 20 miles an hour, uh, call it 320. I couldn't find any information that was easily digestible and easy for me to regurgitate <laughs> about thousand year storms. Um, but flicking through the literature, you can see that most buildings in the US seem to be designed for the 50 year, 50 year storm frequency. Maybe classification for buildings of the 100 year storm frequency occurrence, but this is the calculator that I found for forces. So uh, it's omgroofing.com or omgroofing, OMG, OMG roofing. Um, you can knock in the building height and feet exposure. B, C, and D. D is the most critical. Uh, D is the most exposed. Sorry, it's basically next to the ocean, unobstructed for half a kilometre or so upwind. Uh, the importance classification, they give you some handy notes down here. Category 4 is stuff that it basically can't, you don't want it to fail. It's like hospitals, police stations, emergency shelters, stuff like that. So if you put exposure D and importance classification 4, you're going to get the, the toughest, the most stringent standards to follow. And if we have a look at the highest wind speed ever recorded, which was... Barrow Island in Australia, 253 miles an hour. Won't do tornadoes just yet, but I've dropped those in the calculator already. That's 253 miles an hour. Do the calc. And it gives us these design pressures. So horizontal is sideways, obviously, coming in towards the building or pulling the back wall of the building out, the, the downwind side. And the vertical upward pressure is what's pushing up on, on the edge of that roof, on the eaves of that roof. Uh, another useful tool, metric conversions, to get those pounds per square foot into kilograms per square meter figures. You can see 537 there. Let's do, let's do the upward pressure, 336 pounds per square feet. That's going to be a ton and a half per square meter, 1 1.6. 1,640 kilograms per square meter. Um fairly sure that 
factor of safety is not included in this calculation tool because it doesn't say it explicitly but if you really want to check that out then you can find spri.org and I'll drop the link for this roof edge testing system specification in the doobly doo down the bottom as well um, but basically we've got about 1.6 tons per square meter for the highest ever cyclone hurricane typhoon type wind recorded in Australia it's not the highest wind speed ever recorded that's the tornado at 3 300 plus minus 20 um, so you can knock those calculations knock the figures from those calculations in a spreadsheet or whatever you want to do and then you can get some idea this is the tornado which was in Oklahoma US um, that would be more like 2.6 tons per square meter uh, and the, the strongest cyclone is the 1.6 that we've already had a look at here. So um, That's my basic run through familiarising myself with, with wind speed. It's a pretty scary thing here in Taiwan when we get hit by typhoons. They generally come from the east and beat themselves out on the mountains there. But sometimes they swing around and come from the south and there's not a lot to stop them from the south. So... Um, Okay, so the links are going to be down in the doobly-doo. I'm going to add some more videos coming up. We're doing meetings about the six Earthship principles at the at the four-person eco-home in Taijung here. Um, I'm going to have a look at structural considerations as well. This is just wind speed calculations, but there are things like structural reinforcing, cyclone bolts, hurricane straps reducing the exposure, so reducing the height of the elevation would be something to look at. Shutters are a really, really good idea, I think, to stop the windows and doors blowing out, because if they go, your roof goes the whole bit. <laughs> I've read some reports where if the windows blow out, the air pressure inside gets so high that the building basically explodes. So we don't want any of that happening. Shutters are readily available here in Asia and Taiwan. They use them on all the shop fronts. All, all the shop fronts are basically shutters, so I should imagine they're easy to get hold of, relatively inexpensive for the, for the, uh, for the area, for the square meters that you need to cover. You can probably get them powder coated in white if you want them to look presentable rather than just steel shutters. Uh, and something else to look at is the size of window and door openings as well. So you want something structural like a column, beam, supports around window and door openings and then we'll have a look you can see on the on the SketchUp model here I've already included bamboo to the north for the wind winds but to the east here the bamboo and trees to the east is specifically to mitigate typhoon winds um, depending on the height of the tree line and the the depth of that cover upwind uh, they can really reduce wind speeds quite a lot, something like 40%. I think I see some figures somewhere, but I'll drag those up for the next video.